Hi guys, welcome to the lesson of ordinary differential equations. So previously we discussed three cases of uh, non-exact equations that are reducible to exact equations. Now, uh, in this class, we are going to discuss uh, case number four. That is, uh, if uh, uh, three of the previous cases are failed to find the integrating factor, then we have one more case if mx plus and y is not equals to zero. And we all are familiar with this m and n. And uh, one more condition that if m dx plus n dy is homogeneous, right? Uh, and we are also familiar with the homogeneous equations. Uh, we know that the homogeneous equations of the form dy by dx is equals to some function of x comma y or some function of x comma y. Uh, but that uh, is uh, the powers of these, uh, the polynomials should be same in the denominator and the numerator. Like if you are talking about x squared y plus y cubed that is divided by x uh, y squared. So we can see here that the powers of all the uh, polynomials are same. That is x squared times y is uh, power is two, either power is one, that is me that makes it three. Here the power is three and here also one and two, the power is three, right? So in this way, uh, we can uh, assign this case and we can start with some problems. Let's take an example. Uh, say we are given with a question that is dy by dx is equals to x cubed plus y cubed divided by xy squared. Right, so here we can see that uh, we can check whether the equation is homogeneous or not. So we can see here the power is three, the power is three and one plus two, the power is three. So the power is three everywhere. So it means that the equation is homogeneous. And now we need to check that whether um, m dx plus n dy should not be equals to zero, right? Uh, sorry, not m dx, that is mx. Uh, it's a mistake here. So it's mx plus ny. It's not dx, it's mx plus ny, right? So we can check here. Simply we can write in this form x cubed plus y cubed times dx minus xy squared times dy is equals to zero. So we can check whether m times x, that is x times m, that is x cubed plus y cubed minus n times y, that is x y squared times y equals zero. So here it will be x to the power four plus x y cubed minus x y cubed. And we can see that this is not equals to zero because this will cancel out and you'll let with x to the power four. That is not equals to zero. So, so we can apply the case here that the integrating factor is one over x m plus y n. Right, so this will be equals to one over x to the power four. So this is the integrating factor and we can multiply integrating factor with the equation. And then we can check that the equation is exact. So here we can multiply one over x to the power four times x cubed plus y cubed into dx minus one over x to the power four times x y squared dy is equals to zero. And now we can check whether the equation is exact or not. So here it will be one over x plus y cubed over x to the power four times dx minus uh, y squared over x cubed times dy is equals to zero. So dava m over dava y 
will be equals to 3y squared over x to the power 4 and dawa n over dawa x will be equals to negative uh, negative 3y squared over x to the power 4 which will make it 3y squared over x to the power 4 and that is equals this function and this function so now the equation is exact therefore we can solve this equation by simply integrating applying the definition of exact equation so it will be y cube over x to the power 4 times dx minus y squared over x cubed times dy equals zero here the function of x is involved so it will be zero and y will be constant here this is the phenomenon of solving exact equation so it will be ln x plus y cubed times x to the power negative 4 plus 1 over negative 4 plus 1 is equals to c and from here we can see that it is ln x uh, minus uh, y cubed over mm, 3x cubed is equals to c so this is the answer for this equation and given uh, differential equation now we can uh, solve one more example here let's take one more example so it's uh, x squared y minus 2x y squared times dx minus x cubed minus 3x squared y times dy is equals to zero. So now we can check the first two properties of uh, this equation, whether it fulfills or not, then we will move on to the case. So let's check whether this is a uh, homogeneous or not. So we can check it directly from here. We can see that the power of X is two and Y is one, therefore the total power is three. And here also power of X is one and two for Y then three here also three and here X square and Y one means the power is three. So it's a homogeneous differential equation and next we need to check whether x times m plus y times n should not be equals to zero so x times m means it will be x cubed y minus x squared y squared two here minus y x cubed and minus minus so plus uh, 3x squared y squared which is simply not equals to zero right now in this case the integrating factor will be 1 over xm plus yn which is equals to 1 over x cubed y minus uh, x cubed y minus y x cubed and plus x squared y squared all right so this is the integrating factor for this problem and this will cancel out so we're left with one over x squared y squared now this is the integrating factor so we can multiply this factor with the equation let's do that we will multiply this function with the whole equation so we will get uh, 1 over y minus 2 over x dx and minus x y squared sorry x over y squared 
x or y squared minus three or y dy is equals to zero. And the function of x is involved here, so it will be zero and y is constant here. So simply it will be x over y minus two ln x plus three ln y is equals to c. So this is the answer for this particular question, right? So this is the case number four for uh, exact non-exact equations, reducible to exact equations. And we are left with one, more, one or two more cases, then we will discuss it in the next class. Uh, till then, goodbye and hope this will lesson help you for uh, your studies. So thanks for watching the lesson and goodbye.